Hey, hello and what? welcome back. Steam World. Have you broken through the old world yet? Nope, that was it. Why would we call it the old world if the old world is up like the the world that existed before is on the surface? Unless they pull like a fucking Futurama, where it's like old New York, where they just built the city on top of the old one. Yeah, that might be it. Honestly, I don't know the whole lore. What's the coal lantern do? It increases uh, the amount of lantern I have. Oh. Are these permanent upgrades, or yes. do you have to like keep getting these? Oh, okay. See, now I have four fire, four lantern in the top right there. All right. Well, now get your other uh, tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. The dual tank. Uh, or should I get armor? Uh. You're pretty good at not getting hit. Alright. Anyway, where was I? Perhaps the most terrifying tomb tale is about the voodoo queen of Nolans. New Orleans. Nolans? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer Nolans or New Orleans? I like the way they say it. Nolans. Yeah, it sounds better, honestly. Yeah, it sounds way better than New Orleans. It's like, it's just so... It's pompous. It sounds it's so pompous. sterile sounding, you know? Oh, welcome to New Orleans. Would you like some of my tacos? Yeah, oh. it's just... It's like, ugh. It, it's very suburban mom, if you, if you know what... It's like. also got the uh, fucking, like, feel to it, where it's just like, it's pronounced New Orleans, you know? Yeah, it's, it's just... It, I'm not thinking it, none of that. Anyway, the ah, Voodoo Queen of Nolan... Voodoo Queen of Nolans, buried in St. Louis Cemetery oh, Number 1. Die. Since her death in 1881, there have been numerous sightings of her ghost. Legend has it that you can hear her casting a curse on those who trespass within the cemetery walls and vandalize gravestones. Many people have reported seeing her in the form of a ah. black cat walking amongst the graves. Don't let her see your back, or you'll be cursed to do her bidding for eternity. Wait, is that a fucking thing for witches? That sounds like some face shit if I ever heard it, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, don't let them ever see your back, or they can cast a spell on you and you'll end up in their service forever. It's like, okay, so weeping hey. angels, stare at them always, got it. No, I don't want to go that way. Uh, I want to go this the way. The scariest thing of all, soon there won't be any more room left in places like Greenwood to comfortably bury anyone. Some interesting solutions to this problem have been found. For instance, several skyscraper cemeteries have been built in South what? America. I know, wow, yeah, that's I have never heard of that before. That's actually the hell is a skyscraper cemetery? I assume it's instead of digging down, you just keep building up and putting in like more burial shit. That would be some wild like. That sounds like some shit for, like, Dark Souls, or, like, you know, you stumble upon this ancient forgotten world, and it's like, and this is the Tower of the Dead, where the ancients would build their monuments to the sky and offer up their departed. And it's like, that sounds rad as fuck, dude. You know? Yeah, it does. Anyway, um, dozens of Fort High, they offer the tradition of tomb burial while saving a whole lot of space. So there will soon be an R.L. Stein book of horrors. Oh, will there soon be an R.L. Stein book of horrors on being locked in a skyscraper cemetery at night? We shall see. Oh yeah, apparently uh, R.L. Stein is doing books again. Which is, really? Yeah, why are they doing this? He's got a new series now. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, or at least in Hell according yeah. to this book. Amethyst. That fuck. Fuck. Oh, I'm good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's the original series, and then there's Goosebumps Most Wanted. So there's... Oh, no. Most Wanted and Halls of Horror. So, yeah. Goosebumps Halls of Horror. Hall of Horrors. There's always room for one more scream. An all-new series from Frightmaster R.L. Stein. Such as... Claws! Night of the Giant Everything! The Five Masks of Dr. Scream. That's S-C-R-E-E-M, of course. Why I Quit Zombie School. Don't Scream. And The Birthday Party of No Return. Honestly, I would fucking read these. These sound hilarious. They do. 
<clears throat> uh, let's see. Fun facts. The largest cemetery in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, is the Ols Olsdorf Cemetery in Hamburg, Germany. Covering an area of almost 1,000 acres, it has nearly 1.4 million quote-unquote residents. Fun fact number two. Not every culture Sorry. bears its dead. One of the creepier traditions was found in ancient Persia. Followers of Zoroastrianism used to gather the dead in huge towers of silence, where flesh-eating birds like vultures picked away at the corpses and told them only the bones were left. Okay, I... Again, that sounds kind of fucking wild. Like, you just have a tower of dead bodies that you leave out in, like, reverence, and you're like, Yes, the birds shall pick their um, pick them clean, and they will be one with the world again, and join in the sky with the birds or some shit. Like that sounds kind of fucking cool, though. And then after that, that you just metal. have a tower. You have a tower of bones, like just a tower of skeletons. And now I have dynamite. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Right I now here. have dynamite, okay. Good for you, I guess. <laughs> no, 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 the, the dynamite is good. I... So just, not... Just when you said, okay, it's like, I have dynamite, it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was just poor timing on my part. Well, okay, that's funny, so, man. Which house is haunted? Read the descriptions of five different haunted houses. Some are real haunted houses, but two are houses that R.L. Stein created for his terrifying tales. Can you tell which houses are real and which are made up by R.L. Stein? Write your answers on a piece of paper and use the key at the bottom of the facing page to see if you're right. If you can't pick out the two R.L. Stein houses, you need to read more Goosebumps! Alright, MC, you ready? Yeah. House number one. A family moves out of their house after a poltergeist breaks photo frames, messes up the furniture, and even melts a phone. Eventually, the family comes back home and defeats the ghost. House number two. One night, the Payne family, P-A-Y-N-E, abandons their home, and the neighbors never hear from them again. Kids passing by the house on hallway night dare each other to break in and have a terrifying run-in with a demon dog. Oh, ooh. House number three. The Lutz family moves into a house whose previous inhabitants were murdered. Soon after, crazy things starts to happen. Green news. That's one. That's our all signs one. Green news pours out of the walls. Flies are everywhere, even in the winter. And faces appear in the fireplace. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Okay. What? House number four. After their baby dies, a young couple lock themselves in the house and spend the rest of their lives bitter and arguing. After they die, they haunt the house and turn any children who come inside into ghosts. That's another one. I remember that's another R.L. Stein one. <laughs> okay, five is the obvious one. Tell me if this sounds familiar. A famous gunmaker's wife is haunted by the ghosts of the people killed by his guns. She is forced to move and build a new, bigger house and must continue to build more and more rooms for them to haunt, or she'll die. What the hell? Why, that doesn't sound familiar to you? Nope. That's the Winchester house. <laughs> oh, the, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Lady yeah. Winchester, who was like... She, she believed that ghosts were haunting her family, and she would constantly spend her fortune just building this massive, sprawling-ass... Mansion, like it's it's not even a mansion. It's it's a fucking. Estate. Oh yeah, with the fucking like staircases that go nowhere. Yeah, staircases that go nowhere, like weird drops and windows and doors and shit. The anyway. uncle place is there for you to find, like a trail of breadcrumbs for you to follow, getting you ready for something. I skipped the first part of her thing because I was just kind of like, uh, well, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it happens. All right. Key. Number one. House number one. Real. The There's Galloway scarce trace ghost. of China's left up here. Seeing what humanity Sorry. looks like nowadays, it's hard to share your uncle's beliefs. That the Shiners had part of the birth of the first steam bot. If true, what else were they capable of back then? What do you have then? Right. I can now buy a dynamite from him. Awesome. Damaging pickaxe. Okay, so house number one. 
was real. The Galway ghost terrified a family in Ireland. House number two That's was from R.L. Stein from his Give Yourself Goosebumps book. Strange old miner that dug here before you. He always ordered some strange stuff. Used to things like twisted copper tubes and such nonsense. That's all that. As you were saying? Uh, Gigantic folks. House, house number three. Real. The Amityville mm. Horror took place on Long Island, New York. Ah. Uh. Oh. Three was the green ooze. I guess I guess I don't know the Amityville Horror as well. Uh, four. House number four. R.L. Stein from the short story The House of No Son Church. of a fucking bitch. What? I broke a thing to get more orbs and it uh, shattered the ground around some rocks. So now you can't get them orbs. And it crushed two of the orbs. House number five. Real! The Winchester Mystery House was built by the widow of real life gun maker William Winchester. Not to be confused with Sam and Dean Winchester. Oh, there's like a little fucking Mad Lips thing back here. Is it any oh, good? not really Mad Lips. It's, it's like, oh, start your own haunted house tale. And it's like, oh yeah, writing your name here write in your friend's name here and then what did you do when this happened it's like oh yeah create your own story and then at the end of it it's like still going go to your computer and grab more paper or make your story as long as you want maybe it'll become a book one day i like that i like that it encourages kids to like make their own story yeah that's that's, that's pretty good good on you scholastic and rl stein and whoever the fuck else that's, that's that's good. Making it an interactive experience. Double the fright all at one site. Go to www.scholastic.com slash goosebumps. Hold that guy. Fiends of Goosebumps and Goosebumps Horrorlands can... Oh, here we go. Play ghoulish games. Probably not anymore. Chat with fellow fan addicts. That's... Watch clips from spine-tingling DVDs. I mean, YouTube exists. Explore classic books and new terrific titles. Okay, that one, yeah. I'm pretty sure Scholastic is the only place to get these fucking books from. Let's heal up. Got some more dynamite. Check out the Goosebumps Horrorland video game. And get the silver pickaxe. Huh? I think I remember Game Grumps playing that one. Didn't they? Which it was one? like the Wii game. Uh, oh Wii yeah, Wii. yeah, yeah. Because I remember Aaron was like, they're, they they come across in the beginning, like one of the horrors, and they're like, "You're you, you're yelling at yourself, stop it." <laughs> uh, get Goosebumps Photo Shock for the iPhone or iPod Touch. Ew, no. Fungus. <laughs> Goosebumps. I wasted my uh, teleporter. Ooh, you know what I could do? What? What I could do is I could get the uh, the choose your own scare books, and then for situations like these where I lost connection and it's just not fucking working, I could just read them to you, and then have you do like go to page whatever the fuck. So then you're part of it too. And people get something to listen to, because I know, like, it's it's hard to make up stuff. And um, if I'm silent, it's basically like you playing alone. And I know, like, that's hard for you. Yeah, I'm not a so, talkative dude. Yeah, so especially now when I'm playing the game. Yeah, I know. I every time, like, when I'm doing a stream, like, I'll have that happen too. Where, like, if there's just nobody and I see there's nobody watching, it's just like, eh. Whatever, I'll just play. And then I slip back into being quiet. I, I don't know, it's, 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 there's, there's a little balance to strike there. Oh. There's a new Indiana Jones game coming out. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Cool.
Oh, I'll put fuck that up. Oh well. Oh no. What is it? Am I gonna be upset? Yes. Oh god, well, what is it? Well, semi. Uh, Saber Spark just put out a video. The quote unquote first AI movie has been released. And of course, it sucks. So, we might be seeing a slew of AI generated slop movies coming oh. out. It's, like, it's probably gonna be like, you know, people who just do like uh, Video Brinquedo or that weird Christian movie company that's like just uses the same assets over and over. Oh, uh, yeah. Or or like the asylum or something. Just yep. People who like people who don't make movies, you know, they just make like rip offs to try and cash grab on, uh, make a quick buck on like bigger, more expensive titles that people actually want to see. Yeah. I have a feeling. I have a strong feeling that AI is going to be used for that shit. Oh, most likely. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Overwatch 2. Overwatch Classic Official Trailer. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> We're turning back the clock for some classic Overwatch fun. Return to the thrilling <laughs> gameplay experience that started it all. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, yeah, we fucked up Overwatch 2 so fucking bad. We're just gonna roll it all back and go back to 1 and pretend this never happened. Thanks. Spend your money, please. Oh my We're also God. resetting everyone's progress. Spend your money again. That's fucking hilarious. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking bitch. Oh, sassy. Hello, sassy. Can you hear her on the mic? Yes. Hello, sassy. Come here. Come here, baby. I remember there's something nifty in one of these areas in the new world here, but I don't remember which cave it's in. I'll be right back. Cat needs food. Alright. No, I'll be here. Just, uh... Uh, how much... Okay, I don't have a way to check how many uh, orbs I have. I doubt it's too many, though. This definitely is not the place. Uh... That fuck. <laughs> All right. Secret area get. No room. Uh, let's see. One hundred ninety-two. Stack of eighty. Obsidian. Hip. Got him all. Let's see if I can throw this stupid fucking needle. Nope. There we fucking go. Ugh, goddamn. No, right. Now it's time to go back up to get... Ah, thank god we're out of time. See you in the next one. Adios.